Welcome to Calculus. Our stress tolerance level has risen so high that nothing phases us. On this episode, Stevenson will demonstrate... Let's look at this scenario and see how we can use our definite integral knowledge and skills. An expert has predicted that the rate at which waste will be deposited at a small landfill from 2020 to 2030 can be modeled by the function w of t equals this, where w is measured in tons per year and t is the number of years since the beginning of 200, uh, 2020. To the nearest ton, we're going to have to round, how many tons of trash will be deposited in this landfill from the beginning of 2022 through the end of 2023? So we need to accumulate or add up, figure out how much trash was added over this time interval here. So it makes perfect sense to use an integral here because if this is a rate, if I find the area under my rate function, then that represents the total output. In this case, sadly, the total output is trash. So we're going to integrate this w of t function. But the question is, what are my bounds going to be? t is the number of years, and it's since the beginning of 2020. All right, so we got to think of a calendar year. If we're thinking about the year 2022, and it's the beginning, then we're in January. So we're going all the way through to December. But this is going through the end of 2023. So then again, we're going all the way through to the end. Hmm, okay. So the year 2022, that would represent two years past, or since the beginning of 2020. That makes sense. But what do you think 2023 should be? Should it be three? Should it be four? 2023, if we let it be three, that means we're going through the end. We're going from 2020. If we do three years, if we do three years since 2020, then that means we're doing the year 2020, 2021, and 2022. Okay. What if we do four years since 2020? Okay. So remember, it's the begin. It's since it's from the beginning, right? or since the beginning of 2020. So, so one year would be the year 2020. The second year would be the year 2021. The third year would be 2022. And the fourth year would be 2023. So it looks like this is gonna be t equals four because we want to include the entire year. That's why I said the end of 2023. So the integral is gonna look like this, two to four of our w of t function. Now let's just go to our calculator and figure out our answer. And remember, we have to round to the nearest ton. 